Uh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Uh, don't discuss a uh, pretty interesting video, and that's going to be on polynomial long division. But more specifically, I'm going to go over a proof that the uh, that the polynomial x minus a, where a is a constant, is a variable of x to the uh, power of k minus a to the power of k, like that. In other words, you can divide this in, and, and the remainder is going to be zero, or it's going to be a uh, yeah, you just divide it divide it in evenly. And uh, polynomial long division, that's going to be how I'm going to be proving this. So let's just jump right in. It's going to be a pretty interesting video. So in this case, for let's just look at for when k equals to zero, then what we have is well, that's just k to the zero minus a to the zero. That's just one minus one. Number anything to the power of zero is just um, just one, unless it's zero to the power of zero, then you got some other undefined stuff, and you can learn more about that in my earlier videos. And uh, so now what we have, we get a zero, but then you can also write this as, well, uh, x minus a times it by zero. That's still zero, so this is still a factor, because uh, you, you have it over there. In other words, you can just divide this out by x minus a, it's still zero. All right, so we have that over there. Now well, let's look at four k equals to one. Then what we have is, well, x to the power of 1 minus a to the power of 1. This just equals to x minus a. So there it is. That's a factor just by itself. So check mark over there. And now let's look at for k equals to 2. Check if that's a factor. Well, let's look at it. If we have uh, this one here, we'll have x to the power of 2 minus uh, a to the power of 2. So if it's a factor, well, let's just assume it is. We'll have x minus a like this multiplied by, well, what do we multiply it by? Well, if it's a factor, it needs to divide evenly, so let's look at polynomial long division of this. And you can learn more about polynomial long division in my earlier video. I'll put that in the link in the description below. So we'll just divide uh, this x squared minus a squared by x minus a to make sure to, if the remainder is 0. So remember to uh, multiply this one. We need to multiply x by another term to get this x squared. So that's just x. x times x is x squared. x times a, negative a is negative. Put an x, a like that. And then we subtract this, so then these cancel. And then this one here, we're subtracting, this negative becomes a positive, I'll put that in front actually. Put x a, and then that's gonna be in the front, that's a squared, like that. So just put it like that. And now the next term, we need to get this x a, well we just multiply that by plus a. a times x is just, yeah, x a like that. So we get x a, and then a times negative a, that's just gonna be negative a squared. Now we subtract, this is zero. This is the remainder r equals to zero. So this is a divisor, or this is a factor. In other words, we could throw this inside. So this equals to x minus a times it by yeah, x plus a, like that. So in other words, we have x squared minus a squared equals to, let's put this x minus a. So this is a factor. And you could even expand it even further, multiply this out. We get x times x to show you that it is, in fact x times x is x squared, and then we have x times a is just plus x a, then this one, negative a times x, that's going to be negative x a, and then negative a times a, a squared, and these ones just cancel, so you can do it multiple ways like that, this just equals to x squared minus a squared, yeah, so that's what we have, so yeah, this is a factor of it, I'll just put a check mark there, so now, yeah, we did long division. Uh, that's pretty useful to do that. Let's just do it for general. So I'll write uh, in general. So we'll just leave it at k. So in general, let's look at it. And I'll write this in general. We have x to the k minus a to the k. This equals 2. Well, let's just guess. Uh, yeah, again, it'd be x minus a. And then now we have this uh, bracket question mark like that. And we got to find what that is if it is, in fact, a uh, divisor or a factor. So we'll just uh, divide it out, see if we get the remainder 0. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, write a giant one. We're going to be pretty big. So we have x minus a using polynomial long division again. So we have now over here, I'll write this x, uh, yeah, xk minus a to the power of k. So to get x to the power of k, and we have to multiply x by, well, that's easy. That's just x k minus 1. So then when we have this k minus 1 times x, that's just x to the power of 1, those add up. So then the negative ones cancel, so we get a x k. Then we have to, well, minus this a there, then this one, I'll put that in front, x k minus 1, a, like that. 
and then we'll, we'll do subtract so these uh, get cancelled now what we have here this one's gonna be positive uh, x k minus one because we're subtracting it and then a and then this one's gonna be just leave it like that because we just move it in the front so we have minus a to the power of k now next thing to do we, we need to get an x minus one and an a to do that well we need to multiply this by uh, over here we're gonna have to add this one's going to be, well, k minus 1. To get that, this is a 1, so it needs to add up to from k minus 2. So k minus 2 minus plus 1 is going to be k minus 1. Like that. And then this is going to be a, that's just a, just leave it like that. a, power of 1, or a. So what we'll do now is, well, yeah, we'll multiply that out. And then we get our k, x, uh, power of k minus 1. And then this is going to be our a. And then subtracted by this. Uh, times by a negative a there. This just goes x k minus 2 and then we have now the a squared like that. And we're subtracting these cancel. Now this one's going to be positive because it's negative minus negative uh, like that. I mean negative times uh, you're subtracting a negative it becomes positive. Yeah so then we have this a squared like that and then this one here is always <laughs> we always get this a to the power of k like that. So now that we have that yeah, next step we'll do is be the exact same thing. Now we go, uh, we need to get this k minus 2 and this a squared. The a squared, we just put a, well, an a squared there, but for this k minus 2, now it's the same thing. Remember, we to get the k, we want k minus 1. To get the k minus 1, we want k minus 2. To get the k minus 2, we go k minus 3. So then this one times by x, to power, that's just x power of 1, adds up. So we get our x, k minus 2, and then we put this a squared. So then we get an a squared when we multiply it. Minus now, just multiply this inside. We get our x, k minus 3. And then we have the a cubed, the a squared, a add up. Subtract this, this cancels, and notice the pattern now. This becomes positive x, k minus 3, a 3. This one here is going to be, well, the negative a k like that. So we're going to keep doing this. It's never how it's uh, the power of x is dropping less and less. We're going to keep going until we get to the point uh, over here where we have x to the power of 1. Yeah, we have x to the power of 1 or just uh, 1 like that. And this part here, this is at, at by judging by this pattern here, numbers uh, k minus 1, k minus 2, k minus 3. So if we put it as uh, k minus, and this is actually going to be k minus 1 like that. Because if you see this, this becomes, well, k minus 1, uh, yeah, I mean k minus k plus 1. So that's all the way up to there, and these cancel. So that is like that. And then the a term, uh, this is going to be a to the power of, and now this part here, this is in fact going to be, remember how these are, this is k minus 1. Then we have over here, you can consider it as an a0. Then we have k minus 2, that's a to the power of 1. And here we have k minus 3, that's a to the power of 2. Notice we have a 3, then a 2. And then we have, yeah, 2, 1, 1, 0. And this one, we have a k minus 1. So then we have, I'll put an arrow here, a uh, better arrow like this. This is going to be uh, k minus 1 minus 1. And this just equals to, well, k minus 2. So this is our k minus 2. And likewise, yeah, so when we go all the way to there, it's going to be a plus sign, dot, dot, plus, better, uh, dot, 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 plus, extend this, it's going to be pretty long. And then here, we're going to be just going dot, 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 until we get to our, put it better, dot, dot, dot. And now notice what we have, because we have an x here, because we wanted to get x times this one becomes x squared. So we're trying to get rid of an x squared here. And then this one is always going to be, yeah, it's always going to be the one we got uh, rid of is over here, this a k minus 2. That's just going to be the a k minus 2 there. And uh, yeah, just because like this one's a3, and then actually before that, the, when we get the a2, it's when we had to multiply by the a2 over there. And likewise over there. And then, then, then what we're going to get is, and again, we always need this negative a k, just by following the pattern, exactly the same pattern like this negative a k, negative a k, or negative a to the power of k, like that. Yeah, and I'm just going to put a line like this, and then when we multiply this out, that becomes exactly x times uh, x, and be x squared, and then a uh, power of k minus 2, 
And then on this side here, I'm just going to move this over all the way here. Yeah, let's move it somewhere there. And then we're going to have to multiply by the a over this one. So then we get a minus, because it's a minus a, and then we have our uh, x, k, I mean, yeah, x just by itself, x to the 1. Yeah, this is just x to the 1 times by now a, and then a times k, uh, yeah, a times a to the power of k minus 2. Those just add up, so we have 1 plus k minus 2. So a, k minus 1, because k minus 2 plus 1 becomes like this. And then finally, if we just subtract this out, we end up getting here, it's going to be positive x, a, k minus 1, then we have our negative a to the power of k, like that. And likewise, going all the way back up to here, and now to get this one here, x, well, we just multiply by k, uh, by a to the power of k minus 1, That's because it's x is already there. So we finally get our a, k minus 1, like that. And then when we multiply that over here, we get our x, a k minus 1 and then uh, over here a yeah so a k minus 1 times a the 1 on the power of the a adds up so we just get a minus a to the power of k subtract this this is 0 in other words r the remainder is equal to 0 in other words it's a factor so yes that is what we finally got yeah so we uh, yeah so we have that in other words we have I'll write it down so thus thus we have is k I mean x minus a is a uh, factor or divides evenly is a factor of and now we have our x power of k minus a power of k like that this is yeah absolutely <laughs> amazing stuff here in other words we have x to the power of k minus a to the power of k is equal to, and then you could just write this out, factor the x minus k out, times it by, now the quotient, which is this whole answer over there, and I'll write this one out as x k minus 1, this is going to be a to the 0, plus x k minus 2, a, plus, and then we have x k minus 3, a squared, keeps going on and on, plus all the way until we get an x, then an a k minus 2, plus and the x goes to 0, and then we finally get our a k minus 1, like that. And I'll be using this in a later video, so I'm doing it now. Absolutely genius stuff right here. And uh, yeah, you could see the pattern here. We have x power of uh, k minus 1, we have a, a to the power of k minus 1. Then here, x power of k minus 2. And then a, this one is a to the power of k minus 2 and x over there. So basically interchanges and so on as it goes like that uh, from left to right or right to left. Anyways, that is all for today. I just want to show that uh, proof here is very, very interesting. But using it in later videos, so uh, stay tuned for that. And anyways, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you followed along this long division uh, derivation of this uh, little theorem here. And it was all for today. Hopefully you learned, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below as well as viewing these notes on Steemit. Uh, I'll be uploading those shortly after I upload this video, so make sure to check it out. And also make sure to always check my math forums on Vote or Reddit and post whatever cool math or science related stuff you find. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.